What does it mean? It means everything. I mean, it feels good just just for the team. I mean, we've worked so hard this season, and I feel like we're finally getting what we deserve. Jason, it's a fresh bit of how does that feel to come in and start these two games? I mean, play basically on your head. I mean, how does that feel as a freshman? Uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, I think the, the team's been really gelling together really well. So, um, you know, we've been doing really well on the defensive end, and I think if we just keep doing what we're doing, we'll do, we'll do really well. Uh, you know, obviously when you go on a five-on-three, you know, you got a lot of uh, a lot of things going through your head, but uh, you know the guys. We had a lot of communication on the ice, and we knew what to do from you know practice and whatnot. So uh, you know we just stuck to it. We you know kept to the basics, and you know we worked really hard. We had a lot of guys you know eating pucks, um, and, you know just making the sacrifices to be able to kill off that penalty. And by looking at you know taking a scoreless game into overtime, well into overtime, you know looking at the play from yourself from both goalies as well. Would you categorize the, you know, how many offensive chances that for goal both ways? Um, you know, uh, the other guy he played a great game. You know, obviously if you can go zero goals, um, zero goals against for the regular sixty minutes, and then and then some into overtime. You know, uh, you know he played a great game, and you know, kind of happy Colt buried instead of them. So, uh, you know, it's you know, it's a tough game. You gotta stick with it, and you know, like I said, with the defense that we had and the communication between the defense and the forwards and myself, you know, we did we did really well limiting their chances. And coach, for you back to back one nothing in you know, 2013 against the, you know these guys here one nothing this year one nothing uh, four nothing going the other way the year before in 2012. So you know these GLI games, what do they mean to your team, and what does this win mean for you guys this year? So you mean we're we're minus two and the plus minus there because they're four and we're. Um, I mean, I, you know, I've had the good fortune to have this occupation my whole life. I've never had to have a real job. And uh, tonight was as good a hockey game as I've ever been involved with. I think the fans enjoyed it. Uh, you saw outstanding goaltending on both sides, great scoring opportunities, guys sacrificing their bodies, eating pucks, blocking shots at five on three. and. And Ben was tremendous, but he would be the first guy to tell you a lot of our guys ate some pucks there to make sure that they didn't couldn't find the net. Uh, I, I just thought it was a tremendous game, and you know, it's the last year of the GLI here at the Joe, and nobody else is going to win the last game here in the GLI at the Joe, which Western Michigan did. So we're real proud of our players, and you know, we did not have a particularly strong year last year. We came back with a new conviction. The head coach knew he had to be better, and uh, we changed some things. And we've got some quality people with us. And again, I, when you're surrounded by good people, good things are possible. What's that? You know, to be honest with you, I haven't had time to think about it yet. We're pretty happy with the win here, but you know, our, our bottom line is. Uh, uh, as we told our players, when you play college hockey, every game counts. And so I told our guys that this was a two-game situation. We were going to focus on Michigan State, and then whoever we played the next day, whether it was a 3 o'clock or 7 o'clock game, you have to win your games in college hockey. Conference, non-conference, they all count. Everything's important. So for us, we'll prepare now for Denver. Um, you know, you win the GLI and... You've got the number two team in the country coming in in a couple of weeks, so we'll go back to work and prepare for that. Coach, your team averages more than three goals a game, so this is an unusual situation for your guys tonight. How do you, what do you do, what do you say to them during the game as this progresses? Well, I would say the biggest thing there, Paul, is the fact that uh, we also average over two goals against, and uh, tonight that was zero, and that was the most important thing. And that's, you know, we're trying to focus on that. Obviously, we had tremendous goaltending, and, makes uh, such a huge difference when you're getting saves like that. But um, I, I thought we had chances. Mm -hmm. uh, I still don't know how he stopped that one in the third period. I mean, he must have kicked his leg in there, must have gone off his heel. But that one looked from my angle that it was going in the back of the net. But, um, you know, I think the fact that we stayed resilient, uh -huh. um, you know, we have scored a number of goals this year, uh, but we stayed resilient in what we're doing. And we talked to our guys a lot about staying in the battle. We had to stay 
in the battle there. And, uh, you know, we've got Dr. Z that works with our team on the mental side of the game there. And I thought we showed a lot of mental toughness tonight. Hey, Coach, what would you like to say to uh, everybody back in Kalamazoo who's ready for you to take this trophy home? Well, I, I imagine they'll be waiting for our players to come back. I imagine there'll be some sort of a get-together. Oh, oh, we've got quite a few people down in Texas right now preparing for a big football game on the second. So we're all looking forward to watching that football game on the second you know, against Wisconsin with our Western Michigan Bronco team. Our guys are going to have a nice trophy sitting in the middle of the living room while they're watching it.